The transition from inpatient to outpatient behavioral health care is a critical time for patients with a history of suicide risk. It is also a critical time for healthcare systems and the providers who serve them. According to research, patients are dying by suicide during this transitional time at an alarming rate that is 200 to 300 times greater than the general population. As behavioral health care providers, we can and must do better and work together to support patients during this vulnerable time. To help you improve care during this transition, the National Action Alliance for Suicide Prevention has developed a report Best Practices in Care Transitions for Individuals with Suicide Risk, Inpatient Care to Outpatient Care. Here are a few of the findings from the report. Inpatient and outpatient providers, we need to work together to strengthen and clarify collaboration. We can do this by developing memoranda of understanding that helps define and structure roles and responsibilities during this transition. This helps address questions like, who will follow up if the patient doesn't show up for the first outpatient appointment? How will we involve the family in natural supports to develop safety and discharge plans that address the patient's needs for ongoing care? How will the patient and family stay connected during the transition period through phone calls or messages? We need to set shared goals for improving care transitions. And we need to meet regularly to assess progress toward achieving shared goals and continually improve the care transition process. There are also things we can do individually as provider systems. Inpatient providers, we need to share information with outpatient providers so they can continue our excellent care. This means sending essential records like the course and treatment of the illness and suicidality, a copy of the collaborative safety plan, medication list, discharge plan, and ensuring these records arrive at the outpatient provider's office prior to the patient's first appointment. And we need to follow up with the patient and family in the first few days following discharge and maintain caring contact until they see their outpatient provider. Outpatient providers, we need to triage new referrals and prioritize those individuals who are being discharged from inpatient care and evaluate patient outcomes. We need to examine billing patterns to ensure we are utilizing all of the billing codes related to care transitions. And we need to engage more of our team members in the care transition process. Peer specialists or case managers can reach out to the patient and family before discharge from inpatient care to make a personal connection and troubleshoot barriers. They can greet the patient and family at the first visit. This personal connection can go a long way in supporting continuity of care. Care transitions is a time of great risk. As a behavioral health care system, we can change this risk. Let's work together to build a safer future for people at risk of suicide. For more information on these and other recommendations, download the full report at suicidecaretransitions.org.